This shows the force of the impact and gives us an idea of what those inside the Honda Pilot might have gone through. The SUV traveled 75 feet away from the Bronx River Parkway and dropped almost 60 feet to the ground with seven people inside, all from one Bronx family, grandparents, daughters, kids. The car was so squished that they had to actually cut it to get them out of it. Workers at the Bronx Zoo saw the commotion because the car landed in an unused part of the zoo. My head is is still not right because of what I saw. I mean, I mean, I'm very devastated. The four adults range in age from 39 to 85, and the three girls ages 3 to 10. First responders say the SUV was headed southbound, hit the median, and crossed all southbound lanes before dropping off the parkway. I don't know exactly what the car hit, uh, what the vehicle hit, but it must have hit something, and it must have hit it hard because it flipped over. It was like a movie scene. This woman says she witnessed the wreck. I'm coming to the zoo, and next thing I know, I see this car just flip towards right. Their investigative premise is that the driver struck, even in the left-hand lane, struck the, uh, the barrier on the left-hand side, and in reaction to striking the barrier, either was forced over or made a turn that caused the vehicle to go severely to the right. Injuries were quite horrific in 30 years. I've seen something like this once or twice. Everybody was uh, taken back by it because everybody has a relative. Everybody knows a child, everybody has a grandparent, and you can see the emotion on everybody. It's very upsetting to happen this early, you know, something like this. Firefighters originally thought there may be another victim, so they searched the area with a helicopter and with dogs on the ground through the thick, overgrown brush. First responders say all the victims were in the SUV. There were no survivors, and everyone was wearing a seatbelt. Police are investigating the cause of the wreck. At this point, investigators say there is no evidence of a blown out tire and they're going under the theory, the working theory, that there was some sort of distraction in the vehicle that led it to hit the median. Reporting from the Bronx, Michael Hertzenberg, New York One.